Hi, welcome to Craig's Kitchen. I'm the Dublin chef, Craig. Today we're going to cook a beautiful Cajun creamy chicken with a balsamic rice. We're going to cook them perfectly in a five step process. The first process is to cook the balsamic rice. Okay, so I'm going to get two cups of balsamic rice. And I'm going to strain it under the strainer under the cold water to wash the starch off. Okay, so just let the top one on it. Okay, so next. I'm going to season the rice with salt and pepper. Now you can add different infusions. But for me, salt and pepper is perfect because with the, with the Cajun chicken, there's enough uh, flavours and fragrances, so I just want to keep the balls in my Okay, so. Okay. I'm going to add, as I said, I'm going to add three cups of cold water. One. Two. So the next process is, it's very important to keep the lid on because the steam will cook the rice. So I'm going to bring it to the boil and I'm going to let it cook itself on a simmer for about 10 minutes and it should be perfectly cooked. Okay guys, this is step two. I've got a beautiful Irish free range chicken but you use whatever chicken you can afford. The most important thing about it is, is to keep the pieces uniform size because they cook evenly and they cook at the same time and it will be cooked perfectly. Okay, so next thing is I'm going to season the chicken with the pepper. Okay, so I have this Cajun, spe uh, Cajun spice seasoning as well. And then I've a kind of a more ground uh, Cajun seasoning. So they're just all gonna go on top of this chicken. Okay, next. I have 100 grams of plain flour. So I'm gonna add about 10 grams of Cajun seasoning, a little bit of salt, a bit of this Cajun spice. A little bit of black, pe black pepper and I'm going to add some smoked paprika to give it a smoky, smoky flavour. So I'm just going to sieve it through. And there you have it. So I'm going to add the chicken into this. And I'm just going to put my hands in. So that'll be wonderful in the batter. Okay, so that's step two. Okay, step three, guys, is I'm going to show you what's going to go in the sauce, okay? So I'm going to put in 200 mils of cream, pouring cream, at 500 mils of chicken stock, that I made earlier on. Um, I'm going to put in half an onion and butter, salt and pepper. Okay, so as I have mentioned in many of my videos, make life easy for yourself. So, like, if you're unable to dice an onion, buy it diced, you know. Some people may even prefer to use sliced onions, but for me, um, I, want to, I want the chicken to be the most prevalent part of the dish, and I want the onions to kind of accompany it rather than because I find it over overpowering if it's too it's nice too much. Okay, so there's the nice onion. Okay. Scrap this bit. And just kind of 
one uh, large clove of garlic and one small clove of garlic. And you could add you could add ginger if you wish, but um, just the garlic goes lovely with the with the dish, and uh, the onion. Um, it's just going to be the basis of the sauce, and then we're going to add in the lovely Cajun spices as well. Okay, so okay, so that's the that's the end of step three. Hi guys. Okay, so step four is we're going to cook the, the dish. Okay, so as I always use is an Irish rapeseed oil. You can use olive oil. You can use. Uh, sunflower oil, but for me, it, it can take the heat the best and it doesn't disfavor the dish. So I always use Irish rapeseed oil. Okay, so the pan, is, the pan is getting hot and that's very important to always heat up the pan. Okay, so heat up the pan and I've added, you know, that much oil. Okay, so there's this wonderful chicken and, and coat it in the flour. Okay, so I'm going to just add this. Now there's going to be a little bit of excess flour, but as I said, it's, it will thicken the sauce. So I'm going to add butter, and then I'm going to add a, ch a chicken stock, and that's going to be for my velouté, which is a, a chicken stock, and that's going to be the, the basis of the whole dish. So. As I say, don't touch the pan, let the, let, let the pan heat up and let the, the, the chicken cook out. So I'm just adding the onions and garlic. So there you go. And you can just see the little coating that the, that the flour makes. And it's like, it's like a little kind of battered chicken. It's, it's, it's wonderful. And then I'm going to add some butter. So there you go, just, just watch that. Kind of... Okay, so the butter and the flour has kind of became a rule and I'm adding this beautiful chicken stock, okay? So I'm after adding about 400 mils and I'm just going to let it thicken. And that's the beautiful thing about a velouté, it's just a stock and it, and it thickens with the flour and the butter. So then at the end I'm going to finish it off with cream and reduce it down and I'm going to add more butter. But I just let this cook out itself. And you can just see how it's already coming together. You can see the shine from the butter. You can see the wonderful chicken. The flavours, the aromas is just absolutely wonderful. See how thick this is, so I'm adding the last 100 ml of the stock. And that's just perfect. So that, as I said, that'll just keep cooking out. Finally, I'm adding 200 mils of lovely cream. And the last of the butter. So altogether, I put about 70 grams of butter, just in case. Okay, guys. So there you have it. It's lovely thick creamy sauce it's perfect consistency so I'm going to seal it with, with salt and a small bit of pepper okay so I'm ready to, to play it up now okay guys so there you have a perfect basmati rice so I just put a cup my little sand castle my little garnish Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to play it up now with this beautiful Cajun chicken. So there you have the most beautiful creamy Cajun chicken. Savage. Okay guys, so there you have it. Divine, <clears throat> absolutely beautiful dish. Thank you so much for joining me. This lovely Chianti wine goes wonderful with this, with this dish. So there you have it. It's a one pot dish with balsamic rice. It's simple to cook for your family. 
Stay safe and cheers.